This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm now sitting in the barn in the USA. Well, actually, it's not. It's not. It's um, it's Cooper born. Yes, it's the born the identity. <laughs> born to be. Wow, there's so many born jokes. Uh, born in Yale or born yesterday, and yeah. But okay, anyway, this is um, uh, like <laughs> you know, yeah. This is the poor man's uh, ID3. <laughs> no, but listen, guys, it's just a joke. Like uh, 99% of the stuff I say in the channel is just uh, bullshit or just jokes anyway. So uh, I don't know why people take so much offense when they say oh, it's poor man's ID3, it's poor man's Merc, it's poor man's Tesla. And you know, I just don't take it seriously, right? Take a chill pill. Right? I'm trying to figure out how to turn. Oh, da, 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 da. Uh, okay, that's better. That's better. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up. Maybe this is better. Nah, nah, nah. I, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. How about that? I think that's better. I was trying to figure out uh, how to to turn down the, 
the light a bit, but I didn't want to ruin the ASMR part. But okay, so um, uh, it was kind of weird because you saw me pressing this button, but I think it was, I entered the car and when you enter the, just enter the car, you're in, in this state where the light needs to be on anyway. So I was frantically trying to switch it off, but it didn't work. But now it works, obviously. So uh, uh, what? lots of weird shit or lots of some, some laggy stuff going on in it. But I'm going to show you something here. If there's a car icon here, I'm not sure if you can see the screen. I'm going to press it. Okay, that one came kind of fast. Wait, let me see. I'm always supposed to go this way. Okay. But it's a nimble car. Wait, is that police side? Someone will go pull over. Okay, there's a lot of police around here in the, in the ghetto in uh, Arnabru. But okay, let me see. How fast does it uh, come on if I press E manager? Wait, I didn't I press it. Okay, that one came fast, right? If I do this, and if I start this one, for example, if you start loading stuff in the mercy, loading, loading, okay, and you go back, 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 load the navigation. Well, yeah, there, there, there. You see how slow it was? I wasn't sure if I pressed it or not. And then, if I have this one on, if I go back here, and if I then press the, the car icon, zoop, okay, yeah. Every time I want to demonstrate something, it doesn't happen. Well, okay. What I'm saying is that many, many times I find myself double-clicking or repressing something because the, the system is so laggy. Uh, and you, saw, you saw me double-click. I double-tap. Wow. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is that... Uh, well, uh, a bad driver now oh, yeah, over the continuous line oh that's bad yeah, she no but I realized that the software here is not the strongest point even just look look I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna it's gonna blow your mind look here there's a white car there why the heck is the white car there because the car is obviously not white <laughs> uh, Tesla is one of the few car manufacturers that get the color in the, the in the system, not only in the instrument cluster, but also uh, in on the app to get the color right to match the actual color of the car. Uh, even in in the ID4, I remember uh, it was also white inside the system here inside the car, but in the app, the car the ID4 is always yellow, that honey yellow color. <laughs> Whereas uh, in Tesla. You can even set the color inside the car and then it will reflect also in the app. That's how awesome Tesla is. I keep mentioning Tesla because Tesla uh, overall is the best when it comes to software. Tesla is the benchmark of software. And then all the other car manufacturers, they are falling a little bit behind or they were probably always behind. Uh, just to point out that one, people, uh, people go all of defensive, uh, but, but, uh, no, but uh, Tesla sucks on this thing, Tesla sucks on uh, on uh, customer support. Yes, I agree, the, the service and customer support on Tesla has been declining over the years, but that doesn't change the fact that Tesla kicks ass for the Lord when it comes to software. It's almost like saying, uh, when, I, when I praise, oh, look at that full moon, damn. Arr Start eating, man. The wolf, man. No, but um, it's like when I when I praise uh, Mercedes, we just happen to have a Mercedes in front of us. When I say Mercedes has awesome stereo and Mercedes has awesome soundproofing, people are like yeah, 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 it's Mercedes, you know, yeah, yeah, they agree. They don't say no, but Mercedes sucks in the software department, and they the Mercedes is inefficient, uh, yeah, you know. So why, why is it that every time I say something nice about Tesla, people need to try to uh, uh, crack down on it you know, for no reason? You know, they, they stop hating! Yeah, let's stop hating. No, but I also realized, I made a video uh, a couple of days ago when I rushed through that, um, that um, interior view because I felt like they were, they were long. They are, in fact, long. Some of the interior views are over 20 minutes long. I try to not make the videos too long but they just tend to be long for some reason. But I realized that, okay, so I tried it, I experimented with it, and it turns out that people didn't like it. At least my, my regular viewers, they didn't like it. Newcomers, they didn't know what the heck is going on anyway. 
Uh, but I was trying to find a fine balance there because uh, I guess one of the reasons why you guys watch my video is because of this unscripted, authentic feel on everything and that we, you're not watching a news story. You actually, it's almost like we are buddies or you guys are backseat drivers. But no, don't backseat drive me, okay? But you guys are like the backseat drivers and we're just having a little chat here. We are buddies and stuff. Well, let me hammer her. And I think that's what you guys love about my videos. At least that's probably what makes many of you guys still coming back and watch it. And uh, that's also may probably why I watch some of the other YouTubers. I don't remember, but some of them, I just like the personality of those people. So, yeah. But again, like I said, I try to experiment, always experiment. <laughs> I told my wife, let's experiment. <laughs> She'd be like, she, get your hand off me. <laughs> no, but um, but uh, I did do some changes over the years. For example, the accelerator, that's a beaver. There's a beaver behind us. Big fat beaver. Okay, but for example, in the acceleration test, initially I had this uh, intro where I walk around the car and do some shit, uh, and I found out that many people skip it. And also in the in, in the charging test, also in the beginning, I would have this long chat, long intro about, oh yeah, I'm gonna charge this car, I'm gonna charge that car. Or people skip that shit. So then I try to make it short. So I, I try to analyze and uh, uh, condense the, the, the con con content so that uh, you need to skip less, pretty much. And also, I have to admit, when I watch other people's videos, I tend to, tend to skip stuff that I don't find interesting, so... But anyway, okay, back to the car. Oh, sorry, I just had uh, dinner. Back to the car. What should I say about the, the, the poor man's ID3? Well, this one, unfortunately, is somewhat stripped down. Um, for example, I don't even have uh, auto steer. You haven't seen me talk about the auto steer because simply because I don't have it. I have the ping pong, which kind of steers it ish, or does it? We just happen to be on a straight line now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, it, it, okay, okay, yeah. It, it does some ping pong. It just so again, that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, 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 oh. Take over steer. Well, you see, it does ping pong. So, yeah, I'll take it over now. It just cringe at me. Oh, shit. And now it smells shit behind this. Uh, what the heck is this thing, huh? Volvo? No, but it's a little bit bummer that nowadays you, you buy a car and it doesn't even come with auto steer uh, as standard. Because most cars, it's they already have the hardware. Well, the police tie is still there. Man, what the heck is that? Okay, so, because most cars, you already have the hardware install-ish, so it doesn't cost that much just to enable it. Like Tesla, for the for default, like SR Plus, every Tesla comes with auto steer, an autopilot nowadays, the basic autopilot at least, so you can have at least auto steer. Okay, you, can't, you don't have the auto lane change and all this stuff, but auto steer is very convenient. I noticed that because I did 1,000 kilometer challenge recently, and I kept, I have to, always steer you can imagine if you used to uh, adaptive cruise control and then suddenly you don't have adaptive cruise control or not even a cruise control then you have to constantly uh, throttle and, and adjust you know so so that's a bummer but uh, i guess they have to try to keep the cost down somehow or on the other way around the people who buy the extras they are kind of the one paying for the car guys who don't got, get all the extras. That's how it works, right? That's how society works also. The rich people, they carry the poor people by paying more tax, right? Okay, let's not go into that discussion. But um, in general, what should I say about the car? I actually like the styling. Uh, some, of the, some of the interior here is more practical, like this, this lid here I mentioned in already. Um, and again, <laughs> On the other hand, that the interior view, I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to say anyway about the interior. So, <laughs> but uh, uh, like, like, let me just summarize that. I, I like many things with interior, but there are also things with the interior that I don't like. But by the end of the day, it will then boil down to 
what fits you the most because I have seen so many comments people many people are just simply allergic to the ID3 uh, uh, interior so okay okay maybe they, that's why they don't want ID3 ID4 they go for Enyaq instead or or something else right uh, but at least uh, wait, wait let me think about this in the ID4 segment you can get Enyaq you can get Q4 uh, you have more options there but in the ID3 segment, like this one, then do we have any other options? Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I just thought of that. So in that regard, now you have another option and you can choose. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which, like, get ID3, it's better. You know? or, or get ID Born, it's better. No, that ID <laughs> has a good name, ID Born. Yeah. Get Cooper Born, it's better. No, it will. You will have to choose based on your preferences. That's also why I, in general, never recommend a car. Say, oh, get this car. No, no, no. Uh, when people ask me, which car should I get? No, dude, um, should, I, should I date this blonde girl or this brunette? Or what about this black girl? Damn, she looks hot. But I like big booty. Yeah, so, you know, you know like, how, how are you supposed to know what I prefer, right? So the same goes for cars, you know? Except for that you don't lend your car to your neighbor, but you lend your wife to your neighbor. No, I did the other way around, the other way around. So yeah, I'm taking a little bit different route, but um, what I can say is that based on my tests, uh, this car feels and drives just like an ID3 in most cases. Uh, the, the car itself, the way it handles, the way it rides, also the soundproofing, everything is very similar to the ID3. Um, but then the interior is a little bit different, but even the buttons here are the exact same. The, but the, in, the infotainment here though is different. Like, it's almost like it uses the IDOS with the elements and the, the, the look and feel on, on buttons and stuff. But then um, the, group, the, the Spanish people, they decided how to lay out things uh, and how to feature things and to implement things. Uh, which kind of, yeah, just like the, the, the Enyaq also, same with Enyaq, is that they also, uh, when I saw Enyaq, it uses the same OS, I think, but it's like a different skin, different implementation of it. And in that regard, me personally, I like the ID uh, better, the way it works, uh, the way things have been organized, and especially when you go home here, you have those cards, and I was missing a card for some, some uh, uh, navigation status and the whole like skewed thing here I, I don't like it uh, but there are other things that I do like well but maybe they were always there in the ID3 I'm not sure but like when you set air conditioning temperature it will say how many percent you are reaching so I want 24.5 degrees it says it, it's 60 percent to reach that one and then if I tap down to 20 degrees it says 100 percent because it or, or has reached that one already so that's pretty cool. Wait, where do I do a little flip mode here? Hmm. Yeah, so again, uh, like I said initially, I try, I try to experiment with things and uh, uh, see what you guys are. Let me, let me, I'm a BMW driver, I'm a bad driver. I just changed my mind and uh, do last minute uh, exit. But uh, based on the, the feedbacks, it seems like you guys actually want to have a long video. Okay, I don't want to be like super long, like one hour long, but at least uh, 20, 30 minutes for a summary like this. I guess you guys don't mind. Time might just fly by. Actually, when I watch some of my favorite YouTubers, like, wait, can I U-turn here? I can U-turn here. Yes. Look, 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 look. I'm going to demonstrate the awesomeness of the turning circle. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> like a ninja. <laughs> If that was a Tesla, I was like, uh, 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 take a five point turn before I'm done. And people are honking at me, but here, no, no, no. Wow. So that was awesome. That was, <laughs> the, that was quite awesome. So, um, and also, I, you know, every time I, um, well, let me see, let me set the cruise control speed. Okay. Every time I borrow a press car, not only do I do those tests where you see me do range tests or whatever, 1000 kilometer challenge, go to yellow, but also when I have uh, stuff to do with Wi-Fi, I also take that press car to the grocery, to the restaurant. So I get as much time as possible with that press car. Uh, 
a wifey sometimes, well, actually a couple of days ago, she asked me, why do you use this car? Why don't we take the Model 3 SR Plus instead? Because it's just camped outside my house. You know? I'm like, oh, but like I said, you know, I want to spend as much time as possible with this, the car I'm borrowing. But there was one thing I noticed with this one, is that when you go to uh, the, this menu and you set the departure time for, for preheating, uh, many, many times it doesn't work. I don't know what's up with that. Again, poor software. Uh, <laughs> I set everything right. Like you want to have that, okay, we, it's checked, it's the right day and everything. But when I called with the car, it hasn't preheated. Like, hey, dude, what's up with that, huh? Where's my preheat? Where's my heat? And also, when I borrowed the, the Kia EV6, that one I connected to the app. I can connect this one to the app also, but I didn't bother this time. Um, but also with the EV6, I connected to the app, and then I actually used the EV6 when I went uh, on uh, events, and, and I parked the EV6 at the airport. And then when I landed, I opened up the app, and then I set uh, preheating on the app, and it, I don't know what's up with these legacy automakers, but I can't see the feedback on temperature. I would like to see the temperature. Nine! Niche uh, available temperature. So uh, I have no idea how cold or hot it is inside the car. I haven't ever seen any non-Tesla have that feature. It's only Tesla, as far as I know, will report uh, uh, cabin temperature inside the app. Uh, pretty uh, precision, high precision also, it updates quite fast. So anyway, with the EV6, I, uh, it's a little bit out of the box here, but just, uh, yeah. It says, well, it at least it tells me that the HVAC is on when I remotely start it, uh, and what the, the desired temperature is. But then when I come to the car, it's cold. I'm like, huh, what the heck, dude? Um, and the same here, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, no error, nothing. Uh, speaking of error, there was also one day I was doing something yeah, yeah, I don't remember what I was doing. I was I was gonna do something here. And then it says, no, that's not, yeah, I wanted to listen to music. Let me just try something here. Let me try something here. Okay, FM dub, I'm gonna go for internet radio. Yeah, I want, I want to listen to internet radio. It says, sorry, this function is currently unavailable. Please check your notification, all right? And then there is two buttons, can't wait. That guy's hammering way too fast, bro. No wonder why police keep pulling people over, okay. So the two buttons, cancel or notification. So it says, please check your notification. Okay, okay, I'm gonna check my notification. No notification. <laughs> you see, you see, freaking software, man. Like, why, why do car manufacturers make such shitty software? Sorry for the expression, but <laughs> like, you, normally when you have like, phones nowadays, they tend to, like, people who use I, uh, iOS or Android, they, they, they streamline it. And Windows, okay, back in the days you could laugh with Windows, ah, shitty OS, but they've been refining it and making it so it works better, smoother. But I feel like, I feel like car software is still in the, in the 80s and the 90s. It's full of bugs and weird, uh, uh, weird logic and everything. <laughs> so that's the weakest part of the car, I feel like. But uh, when it comes to, like I said, uh, the, the car itself, it feels and drives and handles and has the noise levels and the, and the feel of everything, just like an ID3. So at least if you try, you have to go for Chanel, faster. I, mean, I know I'm a bad driver, I'm supposed to use that lane, but I'm, I feel like I drive kind of slow here. So you either go in front of me, go schnell, or you go behind me and go langsam. Um, so if you haven't tried the Born, you could just borrow an ID3 and you will, get, you will get most of it, except for the interior feel of everything. But also, I don't know if you noticed, but here we don't have any annoying illuminated events like the Mercedes. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, in the Mercedes you can turn it off, but here we just don't have it. But there is a little bit of ambient light here. There's a little bit of... Can I turn it off here? Can you see that shit? You see how dark it is? We have ambient light here. We have some a little bit of ambient light in the footwell and in the door. That's it. And that's, I guess, what you need, right? You don't need a bunch of lights all over the place. So, what, is this also better? Can we just ride, ride like this? Wait, 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 let me see. 
Yellow Ikke. Okay, okay, I can drive on the on the bus lane. I'm gonna do a little flip mode here. Let me let me go on this now. Need always block the lane here, so okay. But no, actually, maybe you guys want to see the interior, or let me check here. Yeah, okay, maybe we can have it in the night mode for a little bit. But what if I uh, can I ninja the back there? Uh, oh, shit, I can't. I can't. Uh, no, I can't. I, it's it's too far away. I was I, I wanted to just kind of like. No, I, I shouldn't do it here. I should do it here. I have to, I have to pull, pull out. No, whatever. Uh, okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Okay. Let's see now. You can see how tiny this car is and how, how nimble and compact it is. Just gonna go over here. Ooh. Here we have the recharge. And then I do this, this, there, there, there. Because now we get a little bit of light in the back. So it's kind of like back illuminated. And then you, you see how nimble this car is? I can just maneuver like this. Huh? Huh? So uh, this is also what I noticed. My point was that I went to see some baby shop or whatever with wifey. And then I have to maneuver the car in some uh, parking uh, spaces. And I, re oh, 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 thrown him. And I, I just realized that this is an, uh, this is a, it's not that long. Yeah, I told wife, it's not that long. She's like, I know. No, but it's not that long, which means that it's uh, somewhat easier to park it some places where it's a bit tight. Uh, whereas the Model 3 is longer. So I always have to remember, okay, okay, it's 4.7 meters long, so I have to squeeze it in there. Yeah, so it, it's uh, it's great that in that regard. But uh, what else should I say? Um, the suspension, though, uh, people say this one is supposed to be lower than the the uh, the ID3. So I don't remember. It's been a while since I drove the ID3, but I still feel like I even feel like the suspension here is is more comfortable than than Tesla. Tesla seems to be a bit harsh, even the Model 3, but especially the Model Y. But uh, all of that, uh, I guess I should tell you guys. Oh, you guys want to know how is the car? How is the car? Well. Um, I guess we, we talk enough about the, the whole uh, uh, suspension part and the noise part. It's just very similar to ID3. I think I think the ID3 has better soundproofing because uh, if you go for the, those max versions with uh, with the double or whatever noise it's called, it's got, it's got some kind of acoustic glass that makes it better. But I'm just wondering if they have the exact same soundproofing or if maybe there's a yeah maybe actually you know what. Maybe the ID3 has slight not better noise. Yeah, maybe because I'm, I'm not sure about that because uh, because the ID3 I tried it in summer tires, but I haven't tried ID3 winter tires if I remember correctly. Uh, but this one is on the uh, Nukin Hakabrita R3, which has this distinct howling noise. I don't know if you can hear it. So um, yeah, maybe just uh, if I get over here, maybe. This is actually a pretty, pretty short exit. Exit also. You, usually, you come you come there fast, and then you just have to <coughs> exit. But just showing you guys how it is, and also yeah, when it comes to the whole steering wheel movement, you're not supposed to do this and this and this. You're supposed to. This is actually the correct way to do it. You have to always have one hand on the steering wheel. Uh, I noticed that it was that bus driver in uh, in Stuttgart. No, it wasn't Stuttgart. It was the other one. The 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 the, the bus driver with um, the the Mercedes uh, E Citaro. He was actually doing it the correct way. And then I had to Google about this. And I'm like, oh, it's for safety. So you don't want to have the you you don't want to have the the airbag breaking your arm in case you do something. So you have to do it like this. That's the correct way. It looks kind of noobish to do it like this. But yeah, that's the correct way, Supp supposedly. Until I'm proving that I was wrong again. But um, yeah, you, you heard that. Yeah, listen, listen. So of course you can hear the tire noise. That uh, that uh, howling noise. And here we have some bumpy roads. I can also show you that this. It's freaking horrible, man. Norway, the richest country in the world. But listen. Oh shit, I come over here with wifey 
and she's pregnant. She's like, oh shit, why are you drive me like that? I'm like, well, this is the way, yeah, the way I always drive, you know? When I'm driving, why do I have to take it so easy over the bumps? Like, like, like here, over here, I'm gonna show you, you know? You, you, you probably just drive like this. No, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how, how young people drive. Young people, they drive like this. Drive like this, bro. Oh, you wanna ride? You wanna ride, bro? Huh? What's up, bro? Huh? Okay. And then, and, and so you, you know how people, some people, they turn the wheels, they do it like this one, where they do the one hand. Yeah, the one hand turning. Like this. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, wait, wait, wait I forgot. Wait, wait. They did this, they did it. So they, they, they do it like this. One hand is just scrolling Facebook and they'll be like, okay, I'm just gonna. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. And then forward. Yeah, you see? So um, when I'm driving alone, I drive a little bit more aggressive than when I drive with my wife. And I guess once I have my, my kids with me, I have to be even more careful. But what I'm going to show you is that normally I just take it, uh, I have normal speed on this stuff, right? Just come here and then I go in. Wait, wait, wait. Halt! Holy shit, that guy is so slow. You know the time when you wait for someone just to realize that you shouldn't have waited? Okay, okay, you see. Just to realize you shouldn't have waited for him. But I'm gonna show you here. If you go like this, oh, 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 that, that's too hard for wifey. That's too hard, man. She'd be like, oh, shit. So what I have to do then is to take it easy, like here, and then, But this car has a nice way of dampening the uh, the, the bumps. Yeah. Like, so I like it. I like it. I think we have to go to bigger, bigger and higher and test the bumps. But uh, wow, shit! This video is getting way too long. Though. But um, there was one thing I want to tell you, which is that uh, what was it again? I forgot about it now. Yeah, it was the high consumption. Holy macaroni, man! Like. Uh, there's just something about, whoa, 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 what the heck? I mean, it's a 40, oh, okay, oh, oh, you want to exit, okay. You see, that, that was different between, uh, um, uh, it was an Opel, Skrupel, uh, Opel driver, a BMW driver would just turn without using turn signals. No, but um, this car, I mean, or the ID3 I tested in summer was fair, uh, pretty efficient, uh, almost as efficient as a Model 3 or Ionic. But in winter, it was a t totally different story. I just finished 1,000 kilometer challenge. This car is almost as thirsty as the Fat Beaver, which is uh, also known as the BMW iX. Uh, what the heck, man? How the heck can this car be so thirsty? It's a tiny uh, hatchback. <laughs> uh, it could be something to do with that. Uh, maybe it's not running the heat pump or some shit. I heard about it, but haven't they fixed it yet? Uh, why is it only running the PTC? Because again, MC Hammer, another Tesla Model 3, is also, the, the old one, pre, pre heat pump, uh, was also very efficient in summer, but in winter, it had to run the PTC heater and some shit, and then it was also inefficient. But it didn't cold it, of course, because it didn't scavenge the battery. And this one also, it doesn't cold it, at least. That's what I noticed, because I did the 1000 km challenge, a little spoiler alert, by the way, for you guys who don't watch a 1000 km challenge. Um, it's, um, uh, I was driving mostly in, in zero to minus two degrees Celsius in 1000 km challenge through Sweden. It was cold last night when I did it. Uh, and I was expecting some massive coal gate and face palm and uh, 50 kilowatt. Uh, no, it didn't happen. I was pumping in 130 kilowatt every time. It was just the first time. The first time it was a little bit slow, but then it builds up heat and the heat seems to stay there. But then you kind of need to drive fast enough and charge often enough. So I was charging every one and a half hour-ish. And then the, I could keep, keep the heat inside the battery and it didn't cold it. Whereas the Korean cars tend to suck the heat out of the battery to heat up the cabin, which lowers the consumption, which is great. But then it cold gates. 
and then it quickly tried to heat up once you start uh, uh, charging. But then the Tesla does it the best way, which is to uh, uh, scavenge the heat. I'm talking about now with, with the one with Octobal, the latest one. It will scavenge the heat during the drive, but then towards the end, uh, maybe 15 minutes before it arrival to the fast charger, then it heats up the battery again, and then we get actually decent speed. So that was a big surprise for me that, uh, like I said, you know, uh, I was expecting cold weather, it didn't happen. But mind you, I was hammering at around 120 plus kilometers per hour, uh, not uh, to Yalu where I can only drive at 60 to 80 kilometers per hour officially. Um, but also, so that was the big surprise. It didn't cold get. But also the big surprise was that it was so thirsty at high speed. That was the first time I ever, ever drove this car or the ID3, ID4 or whatever in uh, cold weather, but in the 120 zone. Wait, where am I supposed to go now? Can I go this way? No, no, okay, let's go this way. So, so that was a bit disappointing. Uh, I hope they can fix this because uh, this actually matters to you guys if you, are planning on driving your ID3 or born uh, in Deutschland or Netherlands or somewhere, I don't know, uh, Hol Holland, people call it Holland for some reason. But technically Holland and Netherlands, that's two different things, or I mean, they, they might overlap each other, but it's technically the same. But I guess Dutch people still call it Holland for some reason. But okay, anyway. Um, if you drive this car in around zero degrees Celsius and you hammer at 130 kilometers per hour or more, it might be quite thirsty. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> that was my discovery, one of my discoveries. On that though, I haven't tried this car that much because it, it also resembles uh, ID3 in many ways. For example, it's pointless to do the charging test. It's the same battery. It's pointless to do the, the um, uh, banana box test. It's more or less the same car, so I will get the exact same results and so no, no need to waste time on it. But however, I this, this video here is somewhat uh, new-ish because the ID3 I did was not in this new format. It was just a random thing I shot. Oh, on my way back to uh, Rian, uh, yeah. But so that's why at least I will try to kind of redo this one. So actually, even though this is a video about Cooper Born, it also applies to ID3 in many ways since they are built on the same platform and everything. Okay, where is the thing now? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So here, guys, you see we're gonna go to the to the. No, wait, wait, wait. Is it? What? 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 Did I go past? No, no, here it is. Here it is. They can have, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you, you have got Wi Fi, I want to take it uh, easy like this. But and, uh, fortunately, I never have to go to, to a bit again and have with Wi Fi. But you see here, let me just, oh, there's a pothole there. Let me just drive over it, person. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, okay, let's do it. 12 kilometers per hour, 13. Oh, Ooh, nicely done. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. 23 kilometers per hour. About 20 kilometers per hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see, see, ooh. Okay, and then we can do a flip on it. You see how nimble this car is? You could do it like this. One point turn. Wait, whoa. okay, let's, let's not uh, challenge it. But yeah, so it uh, passes this with glance without doing any weird uh, 50 kilometers per hour, okay. If I just try to do 25, 20, 20-ish over here. See, it still handles it quite well. Yeah, so that one gets a good uh, check. But uh, maybe I should finish this video because I've been telling you guys pretty much all I know about it. Uh, not much else to say. Um, maybe I should mention that during my test now uh, for almost a week now, I haven't noticed any weird uh, noise or issues with this car. It just works perfectly fine except for the software problems maybe a little bit uh, but yeah so it works perfectly fine no rattling no squeaking anything like that uh, it just everything just feels uh, solid yeah so that's I guess important for some people so and again um, what is important for you right is it uh, an efficient car then maybe you should go for a Tesla instead. Is it a car with good range? Then maybe you should go for Tesla instead. 
Uh, but if you don't want that minimalistic design in Tesla, then you go for something else. You know? So, but when it comes to the whole uh, software, ooh, ooh, maybe I should show you guys. When it comes to the software, I'm not sure if they're going to change it anytime soon. So I can show you that we have mode button. Uh, let me see, where is this again? You have to go here. This car, when I mentioned minimalistic, <laughs> this car actually also has very few buttons. So you have to do pretty much everything in here. Uh, also the mode uh, button thing here. Um, let's see. Oh, where was it again? I just keep going back there. It's actually called uh, drive profile. I was trying. To, I was sorting for something like driving mode, or whatever, but uh, yeah. And then so we have it. There's a range mode. Uh, in the range mode, it will just uh, let me get a feel of it. Well, it's still pretty. Pre okay, it's a little bit slower. Yeah, I feel that it's a bit slower. In comfort mode. Well, actually, the comfort and the. the it's not that much different, but then in performance mode, then let me see. Then, what well, you see, this okay, okay. It it might be a slightly snappier, but still, you you see me stomp on it, and then nothing happens, and then it comes gradually. Maybe they just want to not to ruin the drivetrain, or they just don't want to have. But I personally, I would like the the sport mode or the performance mode to to have a little bit extra punch because right now it's 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 not really doing anything you know and also i need to provoke something yeah, i'm gonna show you i almost forgot about that one this also applies to the id3 by the way uh, because i've been testing some rear wheel drive lately like i tested the rear wheel drive uh, ev6 and of course i've been driving the, the rear wheel drive uh, model 3 and those cars allow the rear wheel to slip a little bit when the ABS system de detects some uh, some slip, but here I'm going to show you. It okay, okay. I mean uh, the, the problem today is that uh, it's nice and and dry, so uh, we should ideally try to find a place with some uh, wetness. Or if I just maybe go out this curb then. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's hard to this to explain now but um, when the car detects a little bit of slip it would just throttle the, it, it will just limit the power quite a lot which is kind of uh, it's not fun so uh, in the EV6 and, um, and the Model 3 the rear wheel drives even when it was slightly wet outside uh, and it allowed the wheel to spin a little bit so you would get a slight over steer if you want to but uh, here i feel like the car is being a little bit over protective even in the sport mode in the performance mode uh, maybe i have to what about in comfort mode maybe there's a difference there i haven't checked by the way but uh, so the driving feel of this is that uh, it doesn't feel that sporty. I would love it to have a little bit more. And I actually heard from Volkswagen last year that they were supposed to change it, so so that it will it will um, work more like uh, the other cars I mentioned. You see, but on the other hand, it it's, it just goes rock solid. Though. So that's that's a good thing about it. I was trying to provoke it, but I guess nowadays because it's dry, then we don't. Uh, get too much of that but okay so maybe i should just go home now because this video is way too long <laughs> uh, we'll see how much of this comes in production if i cut out anything i guess i'll just leave it unedited and see how people react with like, oh shit man that's way too long i just skipped through it but okay so but overall i'm quite happy with this car and i think you will also be quite happy with this car there there aren't any major flaws with it uh, the biggest flaw I would say is the software that is a bit laggy and sometimes like what the heck why didn't it preheat when I set it to preheat but normally I would probably use the app but then I can't even trust if the app works because it can report just like the, the Kia it can report that oh you're preheating but then I come to the car and it's cold so no big deal nowadays but uh, maybe if you have icy windows and shit then you have to also scrape the windows because it didn't run it so it's 
you know, first world problems. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's the BYD electric bus, by the way. Cool. EV70629 is the license plate number. If you want to check out on the Stadt, it's a BYD. But, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, which okay, and then maybe some the, the question that people ask me then, which which car would you get then, ID three or Cupra Born? <laughs> oh, that is a hard question. Me personally, I would probably choose ID three because um, um, I'm not sure why, but like I like the the, the armrest in the ID three better, and then. Uh, uh, and I guess I can live with some of the the, the disadvantages with the ID3. Uh, like the center console was not that nice, but it was still okay. Uh, but also, I think the ID3 had slightly more light here. Uh, when I said, yeah, okay, this one has very little uh, ambient light, which is fine. But I also liked the ID3. It was not overdone like Mercedes. Mercedes was just overdone when it's um, uh, what do you call it when it's past glamorous. It's, um, I don't remember that word again. Uh, vulgar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercedes is vulgar, you know? <laughs> but uh, the ID3 or many cars, like uh, BMW especially, they have just perfect styling, enough, but not overdone. Yeah. So just like meat, you don't want to have it overdone. So, um, and then if you put the car in park. But there was one thing, was it? I wonder if it was, yeah, the wipers. I remember the wipers when I went on the Halo test. It had problems keeping the whole windscreen clean. Uh, maybe maybe I just need better wiper juice, but no, no, maybe it wasn't this car. Hmm, I've been testing some of the cars lately. Remember. Uh, but I think I was struggling a little bit to keep, keep it there. But overall, the car is uh, great. Uh, it feels great. It's great to drive it, uh, like an all, wait, 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 wait. like an uh, like an all, all, all day car commuter or something like that. Perfect. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is the the um, auto steer. The other cruise control is great and all that, but the auto steer would be great to have. And also, I just happened to get this car is not the top trim level, which is a bummer. I think um, I should by default I should get the top trim. Uh, press car every every car I test because then I will know what is possible out there and then of course if I specifically uh, ask for a lower trim just to check what is available in the lower trim the poor man's trim then you know so but on the nuts um, two thumbs up for uh, Cooper Born it like I like it I like the style and everything I think that's that's maybe what people think uh, they would choose the Cooper Born over the ID3 because the ID3 maybe looks a little bit boring and dorky, but this one looks more aggressive, looks cooler. The whole image on the front and everything. The ID3 has that weird uh, bird beak uh, thing in the front and everything. So like, <laughs> but it's Volkswagen, you know. People know Volkswagen, so. But um, it's not wrong to choose this one either. So, yeah. I think that's going to be it. Uh, maybe I should also, last thing I should mention is the seat. But again, yeah, I should come with the seat, the, the, the bucket seats. They are great. They're comfortable. I've been spending lots of time in the seat. But um, uh, it lacks maybe some of the adjustment and it's just manual seat. So you see, uh, I mean, these seats are great, but uh, it would be better for me to get the top, top trim so I can get the feel of everything. Because now I feel like I have just manual adjustment, no memory no massage or anything and and this the fabric here feels a bit cheap but it, yeah but you get what you pay for and i am unfortunately i'm not able to test the top trim on the cooper born uh, and i'm not gonna do just redo borrow another one just to get the, that one no, so. but anyway so um yeah i think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later